Hello and welcome to another edition of Will's Grill Shack. Um, today we are going to be making some garlic chilli chicken um, on the Kamado Joe, Big Joe using the Kadai Fire Bowl. Um, we're going to be direct grilling. Um, I love making curries on the Kamado. I really find it's quite an authentic way of, of cooking. Um, for this you are going to have already need to do um, the tandoori chicken tikka which you can also find uh, on my channel. Um, and yeah, let's get set up and let's get going. Okay, so what we're going to need is uh, there's one onion. I've done this in the blender because I like it really finely chopped. Uh, in here we've got uh, 20 uh, garlic cloves sliced. Uh, you can use less if you don't like so much garlic. Um, we've got some tomato puree paste. So this is tomato puree mixed with water. Uh, we've got our chilies. So there is uh, four green chilies in here. Again, you can use less if you don't like it as hot. Got some coriander there, some uh, cashmere chili powder, uh, some tandoori masala, some garlic and ginger, a little bit of salt for seasoning. Uh, we got uh, some mixed powder, some methy leaves, some uh, rapeseed oil, some chicken stock. And this is the curry guys, curry base. I always find his curry base is the best one out there. Uh, we've got some garlic uh, dried flakes for garnishing afterwards, some chilies for garnishing, and some more coriander for garnishing. So let's set up the Kamado. And uh, sorry, you're also gonna want uh, some tandoori chicken tikka mix as well there. Which looks okay, so we're currently at uh, just over 200 degrees, so nice and hot. So we're going to chuck in our fire bowl into the attachment and just let that get a little bit. Okay, so first things first, you want to chuck in some oil. So uh, there's about six tablespoons here. Quite a lot of oil, but quite a lot of curries are sort of based on oil, I would have said. We're just going to let that heat up. Okay, you can see the oil is bubbling, so it's nice and hot now. So we're going to add in our garlic. really important to stir these all around just keep moving them around the pan so you don't burn the garlic nothing worse than burnt garlic okay these are looking good so let's put in our onion now so the onion chuck it in it and we want to stir this uh, and sweat down the onion for about four minutes I would have said and just keep stirring it, keep moving it around. So now grab your salt, just sprinkle that in there and stir it up. That just helps the onion, uh, the onion just sweat down a little bit. Sorry, it's like gale force winds here at the moment on the south coast, so it's uh, a little bit windy, so I'm filming from a different camera angle that I'm not used to. Okay, those onions are looking good, so we're now going to add in uh, the chilies. And the garlic and ginger paste as well. And this will sizzle a little bit when I start stirring it. There we go. Stir that around, mix it all together. You want to fry that for about 30 seconds. Make sure it's all nicely mixed. Okay, now we want to add in our powder spices. So the uh, tandoori masala, the mixed powder, and the uh, cashmere chili powder. And this is going to start to look very dry when I'm mixing it. But this is how it's going to look. So it's like a paste. So mix that like that. And now we want to add in our tomato puree. Just put that straight in. Mix it all up. Ok, 
So you let that sizzle away there just for 30 seconds, just keep moving it. Like that. Okay, now we're going to add in half of our base sauce. Mix that together. And we're just going to let that bubble away for a minute or so without touching it. So that's starting to bubble now. So we're going to add in the rest of the curry sauce. There, mix it together, make sure there's nothing left. Okay. Then we're just going to leave that for another 30 seconds. Okay, let's add in our lovely uh, tandoori tikka. Stir that in. I tell you, this is really smelling lovely. Really smell the garlic. It's one of my favourite curries, this is. Okay, and then we're just going to let that bubble away. Now you want to add in your chicken stock. Just chuck that in there. Now it's going to go a little bit watery. That's expected because obviously you've just added quite a lot to it. So it will reduce down and will become a lot thicker, which is what you want in the sauce. But the chicken stock just adds a lovely uh, flavour to it. Okay, so we're going to leave that to bubble for about a minute to two minutes and then come back. Okay, so we're just going to add in some coriander. I like coriander in my curries. I find that it really adds a nice flavour to it. And we're going to add in some methy leaves, just like that, and then just mix that in. You can see the sauce is starting to thicken up, which is what I said it would do. Now you just want to cook that down to your desired consistency really, so I'm going to pop back in a minute or so and that should be me ready. Okay, this is uh, good for me, sauce consistency is where it needs to be. Um, yeah, it smells absolutely amazing, the garlic really smells good. So let's get it off the grill and uh, see where we're at. Okay, so there we have it, uh, garlic chilli chicken, uh, all cooked on the Kamado Joe Big Joe. Um, looks great, really happy with how it turns out. Uh, just done a taste test and yeah, definitely garlicky, which is, which is what I like and it's got a nice touch of spice to it. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, please hit subscribe to my channel. Uh, you can also find me on Instagram, at Will's Grill Shack. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.